Now I want to talk about protein production. So how can we mathematically model protein production? We have this X gene activates Y gene. Let me briefly review this process. So we have Y gene here and X gene here. And from X gene, X protein is produced. And this protein activates Y gene and Y protein is produced. Now we call the concentration of X protein X and the concentration of Y protein, Y. The question is, how can we mathematically model the relationship between X and Y? Here, let's have a very simple mathematical model. Y of I is equal to some parameter P sub XY times X of I minus 1. This means that current Y protein concentration depends on previous X protein concentration because X is activating Y. If this X protein concentration is high, then Y protein concentration will be high as well. And if this level is low, then Y will be low as well. PXY is production parameter, and it is a real number. We will define P sub XY as a number always positive. So it's a positive real number. So if you have Y of I equals PXY, X of I minus 1, this is a positive number. We have activation. So X is activating Y. But in case we have negative P sub XY times X of I minus 1, this is positive number, but we have a negative sign. So the whole thing becomes a negative number. And we have inhibition. As X increases, Y decreases. Now we've seen this model, Y of i is p sub x y times x i minus 1. And this is a linear time invariant difference equation. Let's have another model. This time we will have nonlinear time invariant difference equation. And what do we have here? Uh, what if x i minus 1 is 0? There is no x. Then this value becomes 0 and this value becomes 0. So we have we have a 0 over 1, which is 0. How about if x i minus 1 is infinity? Then we have y max times infinity over 1 plus infinity. Since this is so small compared to this, we can ignore this value, 1, and we can say that it's y max times infinity over infinity, and infinity, infinity cancel out, and we are left with Y max. So what does this mean? It means that if you have a very large X, then you will have a maximum Y protein concentration. In other words, if you increase X indefinitely, it doesn't mean that Y will increase indefinitely. Because within the cell, there is a limited resources. The number of protein production factories called ribosomes is limited and other resources also limited so Y protein concentration cannot increase indefinitely if you draw the plot that shows the relationship between X of I minus 1 and Y of I when this is 0 we have a 0 here right and when X of I minus 1 is very large we reach this value which is Y max it will be something like this. And this shape is S shape. And this function is actually called a Hill function. So here we have nonlinear time invariant difference equation we saw previously. And that function is Hill function, which is shown in black. And now I want to approximate this Hill function using difference equation that we saw previously. So y of i is equal to PXY X of I minus 1. This linear time invariant difference equation can be used to represent this red line shown here when X of I minus 1 is between 0 and A. So when X of I minus 1 is between 0 and A, we can use this equation. And the slope is PXY. In case X of I minus 1 is greater than or equal to a, we can say this is just y max. And again, we know that this s function reaches 
y max as x of i minus 1 increases. And from now on, when we model simple 2 gene regulatory network, we will use this equation, assuming that our x varies from 0 to a. 